How are we all? Today, we're going to continue looking at disc 100% performance issues. If you haven't checked it out yet, look at my prior video, Fixing Sluggish Computer Performance and Disc 100%. With today's video, we're going to be looking at Windows Services, and I'm going to show you how to create a script to automatically stop Windows services that affect your computer's performance. Now, as always, these videos aren't going to be high quality. They might be pathetic looking, but I will get you there. Before we begin, I need to let you know that this is for a Windows based system only. That is Windows based only. If you are operating on a Mac OS, this video is not for you. You will also need to make sure that you have full admin access to your machine. As you can see with my example, the disk is at 100% and there aren't even any applications open, nor are they running. This is most likely due to the Windows services that are running in the background. The first thing I'm going to get you to do is click on the file, which is located in the top left of your file explorer. If you're unfamiliar with file explorer, it is the folder looking icon that appears on your taskbar, or alternatively, if you click on start or search, just type in file space explorer and the file explorer will appear. Once you click on file, a list will appear. I want you to now click on change folder and search options with the left click of your mouse. This will bring up a box. Within the box, I want you to now click on view. When you click on view, it will bring up more options. Within the options, you will see hide extensions for known file types. If that has a tick, check it so it becomes unticked. With the hide extensions for known file types now unticked, push the OK button. This will take you back to the file explorer. Now within the file explorer, anywhere on the white portion, use your mouse to right click and this will bring up a dialog. Within that, go to New, and then click on Text Document. A new text document .txt file will be created. Double click that file with the left click of your mouse, and it will open up Notepad. Within Notepad, I want you to copy and paste what I have in the description of this video. Copy it completely and paste it completely. Those are the services that we will be stopping to help with the performance. Be sure that you save what you have pasted by using the Control S on the keyboard or clicking on File, Save. In a quick rundown, the services that we will be stopping are automated updates from Windows, Adobe, etc., among other processes that will eat up the system. The next thing we need to do is rename that new text document.txt. I want you to right click the file with your mouse, which will bring up the option to click on rename. The name of the file isn't important. You can call it whatever you want. It is the extension that must be .bat. In my instance, I called the file run as admin, and then we have the .bat. That's B for Bravo, a for alpha, T for tango. Now that the file has been renamed and you've set the extension to .bat, you can push enter on your keyboard. This will bring up a dialog box asking if you are wanting to change the file format. Click on yes. You will see that the file is now no longer a text document, but instead it is of script format. We are able to run this now. So what I want you to do is right click the file. Upon right clicking the file, a list will come up where you can click on run as administrator. Do so. This will automatically bring up the command prompt and within the command prompt, you will see the script running. Let the script run on its own as it is all automated. You don't need to touch anything. Once it completes, the box will close by itself. And there we have it. As you can see with my example, after I ran the script, it stopped the disk from being at 100% process and it is now running healthily and smoothly. This is a way to help with your computer's performance. As mentioned prior, check out my other video, 
fixing sluggish computer performance and disk 100% for another way to solve the disk 100% issue. I also have one more video called, is your hard drive dirty? Check that one out too, to help with your disk and computer performance.